This is a simple model of sequence evolution. I am using the first 15 codons from the hemagglutinin gene. ATG is the start codon and cannot be lost to mutations. Transitions are the most common changes in DNA. This is where a purine base is replaced by another purine base or a pyrimidine base is replaced by another pyrimidine base. These can occur anywhere in the sequence. There is no reason why there should be a zone where they cannot occur. But if they occur in a forbidden location such as the start codon, then they will not be observed because the organism will not be viable and selection will remove them. In this case there have been two transitions, from G to A at position 6, and a C to T at position 44. For this simple model, imagine that transitions occur twice as often as transversions. Transversions are where purine bases mutate to pyrimidine bases and vice versa. For every two transitions we will see one transversion. I now have a transversion which converts G to C at position 19. Two more transitions, one at position 6 that moves the A to a G, and another A to G at position 43. Then I have a second transversion that converts C to G at position 21. There are two important things that have happened here. Firstly at position 6, it went from G to A and then back to G, which means that if we do not have the intermediate sequence we cannot see any change there. Secondly we now have a run of three CTG repeats. Another process by which sequences can mutate is slippage, which inserts or deletes nucleotides. In a virus they must be added or removed in groups of three, otherwise you will get a shift of reading frame, and the gene will not be translated properly. The CTG repeats are a likely site for this slippage. The repeat can either be extended or one of the repeated codons can be lost. Slippage events require short repeat regions and occur less often than point mutations.